what do widows need to know about claiming survivor's benefits? Well, here to talk with me about that topic is Kurt Zanowski, a renowned social security expert. Kurt, welcome. Hey, Bob. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Uh, a pleasure. So I know this topic often um, troubles uh, widows. Uh, they're not quite sure what to expect when they go to file for their survivor's benefits. Can you walk us through what they need to know? Sure. And, you know, I always like to start discussion on this by saying, it's a really important part about the social security program is people need to understand it's a complete package of protection for workers and their families. These days, most people focus solely on the retirement side, which is a hugely important part. And the vast majority of people who do collect do collect retirement benefits. But a key part of the social security program is the survivor benefit protection for workers and their families when a worker passes away. Now there's two avenues in the survivor program, younger families, and then widows and widowers. We'll focus on the widows and widowers today, but people shouldn't overlook the disability protection, the survivor benefit protection that comes with social security in addition to the retirement benefit. But let's talk about survivor benefits under the social security program. Now, bit of a preference. For the past 15 or 20 years or so, as you and I well know, there were a number of esoteric claiming strategies that were all the rage ways that couples could optimize or maximize their lifetime social security benefits. And one of those claiming strategies went by the term, claim some now, claim more later. And it was a way that someone who had hit his or her full retirement age could opt to collect just a spousal benefit, continue to defer collecting his or her own payment, accrue those delayed retirement credits, and then swoop back in at age 70 and claim a higher retirement benefit, although they had been receiving this spousal payment at the same time. This was a great deal. In fact, Congress thought it was such a great deal, they decided to eliminate it. And with passage of something called the Bipartisan Budget Bill of 2015 in November of 2015, they basically eliminated this claiming strategy for anyone born January 2nd, 1954 or later. But as a result of that, there's been a lot of continued confusion as people say, okay, well, this strategy has been gone away. And so that the old strategy or ability of survivors to claim on one account and then switch to another account, a lot of people mistakenly think that's been eliminated as well. Uh-uh, that was left untouched. So the basic survivor benefit program says if you were married to someone who had worked and paid into the social security program who has passed away, you're eligible to collect a monthly social security survivor payment, the amount of which is based on the work and earnings of that deceased spouse. Under the survivor program, you can collect as early as the month you turn age 60, which is a little bit earlier than on the retirement program or spousal program where the earliest age is 62. But Key concept is with survivor benefits as well as retirement benefits, if you opt to collect prior to reaching your social security full retirement age, well, because now in theory anyway, by starting sooner, you'll be collecting for a longer period of time, you're gonna find your monthly payment amount gets reduced. Start sooner, get a lower amount, but the trade-off obviously, you get that lower amount sooner and in theory for a longer period of time. But widows and widowers can collect based on the work record of the deceased spouse as early as age 60. If they opt to start prior to full retirement age, they're gonna get a reduced amount. But people also need to understand that widows and widowers who have worked and paid into the social security program have an additional option available to them, meaning they can, as early as age 62, collect a retirement benefit based on their own work record. Same concept holds, you start to collect prior to reaching full retirement age, you're gonna get a lower amount than you would if you waited and started at your full retirement age. But with survivor benefits for folks who have worked and paid into the program, a key concept is you can sequence the collection of benefit payments. Opt to start, collect say a reduced amount on one account and then switch at a later date and collect a full perhaps unreduced or even higher amount on the other account. Key thing, Bob, you collect on one account to the other at a time. You don't get both full benefits at once, but it is possible to sequence the collection. And bipartisan budget bill did not eliminate that as an option for survivor benefits, all they did in the case of spousal benefits. 